A lone and wretched chick sits buried in its skin, straining its molten eyes. It strains its neck skyward and sees a distant star. Cumbersome and dumb, the chick writhes and kicks the sticky nest from its feet. Free at last, it ambles forth. He learns that he has legs to stand. Now the spider begins to creep. He is not pleased to see a rip in the warm nest he had woven. He lusts in the shadows behind his feed. The ground beyond the nest is cold and harsh, flecked by a mocking rain. The chick feels nostalgia for embrace of his nest, then feels the breeze of a ghostly warmth. That breeze gets beneath the arms. It lifts and the chick learns that he has wings to fly. The first flaps are strained and sodden, throwing off scraps of dead web. The chick stumbles across the earth and falls face first in filth and in his shame, but the bright fury of his cause keeps him beating until he finds himself in the air. Each new trial each new failure and each new gain gives life to new confidence, and as the chick learns persistence, he learns to fly, and learns that flight is a form of joy. Having gained his flight, the chick begins to soar higher than ever before, somewhere beneath the clouds. Having achieved the great gain and feeling the ache in his wings, he sees no need to flap any more, content to glide on the breeze. Now, as imperceptible as it may be, the glide is a slow descent, and by the time the chick gets this inkling, the sky begins to roar with a storm. By a hammer of a gust and a burning blue blade, the chick is struck from the sky and lies exhausted with mud-laden wings amidst the cold and the rain. The spider comes to console the chick and begins to weave its web. As the threads tie and tuck, the chick drifts close to sleep and feels like home. Yet, with a start, the chick sees a whisper of starshine, stands up, and throws down the web. The spider is nowhere to be seen. The warm caress of the web calls for care, but the mud on his wings fills the chick with disgust, aware of where and who he is. He knows that, be it warm or cold, the high air is clean. So he goes on, ambling and flapping again, but this time the bird knows that he can fly. He pushes on, lifts himself high unto the same fatigue and pain, yet instead of looking down, this time the bird reaches his eyes wide to the heavens. The clouds came to engulf him, great and bleak and black, and for a time they threatened to be the thief of any memory of a flickering far-off light. But recalling the smell of filth, the bird resolved he would keep beating unto the end. At last the clouds broke and the bird flew forth. Beating and ever beating his wings, he saw clearer than he had ever seen before, dry and warm and clean. For the star was no star, but the bright blazing sun calling its children home. A quote from St. Francis de Sales. Just as birds fall straight away to the ground unless they multiply the movements and strokes of their wings, for this reason you have need to reiterate and repeat very often the good resolutions you have made to serve God.